Uh, let's go ahead and officially get started. I want to introduce our speaker today, uh, Mark Kandau. His career has spanned more than 18 years in the cleaning and maintenance industry. Uh, through a collection of roles with a large distribution company and a cleaning solution manufacturer based in Ontario, Canada. Through this experience, Mark has gained a passion for knowledge through disinfection and infection control, along with looking for the easiest way to accomplish precision cleaning. Uh, I think I like that, easiest way to accomplish precision cleaning, very smart. And um, this, like I said, this webinar is by Optisolve. It's called Stop Guessing, Start Solving. And uh, before I turn it over to Mark, I do want to mention one very important thing. Among other many components of his expertise, he's been selling toilet paper for 18 years. <laughs> I call that, Mark, an essential business. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> so I'll pop back in for the Q&A, but Mark, it's all yours. There you go. Thanks, Jeff. I, I really appreciate that. And welcome, everybody. Um, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to... Uh, to, to listen to me speak and to my my funny accent I'm originally uh, I'm originally from a little place called uh, Newfoundland and Labrador in Canada so kind of right out in the Atlantic Ocean so some people can't uh, can't determine if I'm from Canada or Boston or somewhere in between so I guess that's one of the things but yeah as Jeff said I've, I've spent more than 18 years um, in the cleaning and maintenance industry <clears throat> I've had fun doing it, um, you know, selling toilet paper and, you know, developing those uh, precision cleaning programs for our staff um, or staffing and customers looking at really what uh, real life scenarios on how people on how people clean and, you know, what they do. And, you know, we've we've kind of um, we've morphed into, especially in the wake of COVID-19, we've we've transitioned into. Um, a need for auditing. And that's really why we're here today. Um, we want to show you um, what we've come up with. And we think we think we have something really special here, um, you know, with an auditing software package, as well as a, uh, one of the newest innovative uh, surface assessment tools that uh, we believe everybody's going to be uh, everybody's going to be interested in. So, you know, a little bit about it, the agenda for today. And, and don't be shy with the questions in the chat, because I'm sure a lot of them will come up. Um, you know, I want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, what OptiSolve is, who we are, what, how we kind of came about, and, you know, the journey of auditing, and we'll touch on that, where, where we are, why we're here, and the importance for, you know, digitization of operating procedures or simple checklists, that type of a thing. Um, we want to get into something called a savvy and a savvy is our, our proprietary software tool, um, our easy to use auditing software, essentially, um, all of our key modules. And then we want to get into um, uh, one of our innovative award-winning um, surface assessment items called um, OptiSolve Pathfinder. Pathfinder is an interesting, interesting surface assessment tool. Um, would go along, you know, the lines of ATP monitoring, adenosine triphosphate, um, glow germ cream, those types of things. So um, I like to keep it as informal as possible um, through a webinar setting. So again, if anybody has any questions whatsoever, just, you know, fire it in the chat and we'll, we'll leave some time at the end. So we'll spend about 45 minutes on this presentation, then get into some Q&A. So when we, when we look at how we came up with this, so I've been, I've been involved with uh, cleaning and, uh, and maintenance for 18 years, as I said, but collectively, I, I work with a collection of companies that have, that's been in business for well over 60 years. And with the collection of, you know, whether it's tenured staff, new staff, um, chemical formulators, um, our manufacturing clients, those types of things, we've been able, we, we work closely with our customers and that's the key. We have to be there with our customers to see the, you know, develop the theory programs, the disinfection theory programs or the floor care programs, whatever those look like. But when we look at the real life, uh, the real life practical experience of a cleaner or of a custodian or of a caretaker or of an environmental services uh, manager, they do the important tasks. Um, they have a very, very, very difficult job on a daily basis. You know, they have to continuously repeat it. Sometimes uh, some of these tasks can be redundant. So, you know, a few years, about eight years ago, seven, eight years ago, we, we wanted to come up with a proof of concept. And the proof of concept being, you know, it would be really neat to be able to show contamination on the surface. That was the whole job of OptiSolve at that time. We wanted to bring that color to contamination or make the invisible visible. So we partnered with a leading um, 
uh, university. And uh, we were able to do that in our, our, um, our Pathfinder technology. And we'll kind of show you that. But on the route with Pathfinder, as we're showing our customers that through the last eight years, um, we noticed there was a definite need for an auditing procedure or an auditing program and how we can use our knowledge, you know, from, from our, our group of companies and all of our, all of our customers to say, you know what, I think we can really help people with the way they organize the data for the sole importance of bringing that training and the optics of the, of the cleaning industry a little bit higher for our customers or a little bit higher for our stakeholders in our organization. So really that's where it kind of began. And it's, it's kind of morphed into, you know, what we believe something special. So um, OptiSolve, our complete value proposition, and Jeff mentioned, you know, in my, in my little bio, other than the toilet paper, he mentioned something called precision cleaning. And that's really what we, what we look at. That term precision cleaning is essentially the, the efficiency of our cleaning programs or the maximum efficiency of our cleaning programs within our buildings, within our organizations for all the stakeholders. So precision cleaning can have certain things like health and safety, cleaning quality. Um, it can be, you know, if, if PCR swabs are important to you, it can be that. Um, but really it's how do we utilize all of our resources um, with the budgets we're giving to maximize the cleaning in our buildings. And that's especially important, especially in the wake of COVID-19, monkeypox, all of those things that come about to prepare us for the future, whether that be COVID 2026 or heaven forbid, whatever comes next. But we can be rest assured there's something is going to come next. So OptiSolve's message is all about precision clean. We want to show value by um, providing the software and the tools to you so that we really get you to that precision cleaning. It's a journey. It's not a destination. It's, uh, it's kind of where, where we all want to be. So facility assessments and audits. What do we currently use um, with regards to, you know, whether you're BSC or healthcare or infection control, you could be in an emergency room, you could be in Puerto Rico, you could be in Singapore, you could be in Russia, you could be in Nova Scotia, Canada. Wherever we are, cleaning is important. Bacteria doesn't care where you're located. Viruses, do, they don't care where you're located. Everything just wants to survive and reproduce. Cleaners, the sole responsibility is to have the physical removal of those pathogens or bacteria, viruses, and physical debris, dirt, and soils, so that we accomplish a safe and healthy environment for the people we care about, whether customers, stakeholders, CEOs, whoever that may be in our, in our, in our environment. So we go home safe to our families at the end of the day. So facility assessments and audits are extremely important. And currently what we are looking at are people, especially when we go through the savvy checklists and things, a lot of our customers are on paper checklists and it's no different. Um, you know, some hospitals were in still on paper checklists. They know they have the audit or long-term care facilities. They have accreditation. They have to audit. So they're on paper checklists or they could be on a complex spreadsheet, whether that's in Excel, a homemade Excel sheet. We get a lot of Google sheets now or Google forms that they, that they utilize. And these are certain things. It could be a gas station with, you know, or the mirrors clean or the sinks clean or the toilets clean, that type of a thing. Um, and it could be a simple pass or fail or a score, um, but and it could be anywhere from a 15 year old new employee that's never cleaned before cleaning that area up to, a, you know, the 40 year veteran that's seen it all and been there and done that. Um, so the complex spreadsheets are important, a little bit more of a digi uh, digitization. And then there's janitorial inspection software that I'm sure everybody on this call has seen or have played with a little bit. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I shouldn't assume that, I guess. Um, but some of these janitorial inspection softwares are fantastic. You know, they, there's workloading software, there's supply software, that type of a thing. But really what we wanted to look at was, you know, what's important from a cleaning standpoint, developing infection control programs or, or you know, kind of things like that. And what we saw was the importance of auditing, the importance of actual that health and safety for the building, you know, how do we prove that surfaces are clean? Not just that, yeah, we think they're clean because we because Jimmy was in the corner and I saw him wipe a surface. Well, how do we get granular in that? How do we how do we get down in that um, into the contamination on the surface to ensure that it's actually clean? And how do we prove that products 
or um, that, that the process of clean is actually true. So, you know, there's a lot of questions with regards to that. When we come back to paper checklists, which we see a lot of our customers are struggling with now, um, you know, paper checklists for a manager or a supervisor take anywhere between five and seven hours a week. Um, that's a lot that some people think that's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit lower. It's a little bit higher, but you know, from, from our real life experience, it's about five to seven hours of compiling that information on a, on a piece of paper, grabbing the binder, going out, doing the audit, coming back, compiling that data on a spreadsheet or, or whichever, wherever they see fit. Um, sometimes they, they put it on a digital process, but how do they really trend it? And that's, that's kind of the, that's the nuts and bolts of this entire system is kind of bringing all of those auditing techniques together so that we can save people money or save people headaches so that their cleaning program can be efficient. And when we look at this auditing journey, when we sit down with our customers, you know, first and foremost, you know, we, we interview our customers, we have to get an awareness of the auditing or the QAs or the QMS systems, quality management software systems they use and, and, and see where they want to go. So, you know, a lot of people are very concerned with how much work the implementation process is going to be. And, you know, we, so we tried to really take that away, you know, making everybody aware of these auditing procedures and planning the area of where they, what they want to do, um, planning the frequency of when they want to audit. Um, how does that look? And, and it's got to be dead easy to do or people just aren't going to adopt it. They're going to have fight back. Um, organization of data, how do they want to, or, how, do you, how do you organize that data for your current au auditing journey? Is it just a Google spreadsheet? Is it just a, an Excel spreadsheet? Which is completely fine by the way, but how do we use that information to be better over time? And that's where the reporting comes in. You know, reports are extremely, are extremely important. We've had clients that have looked at um, specific reporting through Excel. And sometimes a supervisor just compiling data will take all day on a Friday <clears throat> to compile all those spreadsheets to the point where they'll get in, they'll get, you know, they'll waste their entire Friday or Thursday doing so. So we wanted to make that easy to say, okay, click of a mouse, how do we compile that data so we can give it to the CEO, the president of the company, or you know, um, little Jimmy's mom in a P to 12 school that's really concerned with, with the cleaning of that school in a specific district. You know, that can be a powerful tool, especially for a school board or a school district. And action, you know, there's gotta be action steps. How do we, how do we take this data, you use it and then improve on it into the future? And, and then the main question comes in, especially on the slide, where to start? How do we do it? So, that's where we introduced something called Savvy. So Savvy kind of came about almost by accident as a, as a pair to our Pathfinder, the, the cool picture technology that I'll show you. But Savvy's evolved into so much more because of our real life experience and our interviews with our customers. Um, we were able to tailor this from the ground up. And Savvy stands for a Site Assessment Validation Indicator. And, and all that does, you can think of Savvy essentially as a digital checklist. So we take all checklists, paper checklists, all SOPs from a customer, and we interview our customers before they even choose us to see, you know, to see what's interesting to them. Um, we will take their paper assessments or their digital assessments, whatever that, that may be, and then we digitize it through Savvy and give it back to them. So one of the key, one of the key advantages to this what we like and what our customers like is we don't just hand them our software and they come in and develop it or learn our new software. We ask them to give whatever they're using and then our internal team will then create the software around what they already know or what they've already done and where they wanna go. So we really plan out that auditing journey to see where they wanna go, what the reports wanna look like um, and what validation techniques they want to see in the future. It could be just sight and smell, it could be ATP monitors, it could be Pathfinder, it could be PCR essays. Um, and I'd like to, you know, you can see the stamp in the, in the, uh, in the bottom corner. Very excited. We, uh, we, were, just, uh, we were just granted the ISSA uh, GBAC uh, technology certification last week. So very, very excited about that. 
um, you know, again, uh, uh, a, uh, an entity like the ISSA and, and GBAC, very, very important for us to bring, uh, to bring to our technology. So with regards to Savvy, think of it as the health and safety hub of your facility. So not only cleaning, we want to go through the entire, you know, if you're a maintenance manager at a school board, what's important to you? So some school boards say, you know what, we have to do fire assessments at once a month in every single school. And we do them on binders or we do them in binders and then we have to compile it in binders and it's checking fire extinguishers, um, the safety lights, the exit lights, whatever it may be. Um, or we may get an indoor air quality assessment from, um, from an office building, a, a class A office building. Um, because of COVID-19, everybody's paying attention to indoor air quality. That's another thing. So we take the health and safety component checklist and we can put th that into Savvy and we can also expand it into cleaning. That's where we started. And that's, that's what we do well, but we can also digitize anything for that entire department. So maintenance, cleaning, infection control, whoever it is. And we bring it all under one umbrella for the entire health and safety of that building. So again, Savvy is the site assessment validation indicator. One of the things with regards to our technology right now, it's all web-based um, or it's, sorry, it's a, it's a web-based program. So you can use it on any, any browser. Um, and then we have our Savvy app on the iOS store, so our Apple store, that's optimized for an iPad mini. So we have it for essentially digitized for, for an iPad, okay? But the takeaway with Savvy, it's customized to suit your needs. And another thing that our customers are very concerned with is who owns the data? Is it stored on the iPad or is it stored in the cloud? And ours is a, is a cloud-based system. And you know, one of the things being a cloud-based system, we want our customers to really trust the data. You know, when, the, when that data goes to the cloud, who can see it? Who, who has access to it? Well, we ensure our customers that, of course, you know, we don't use the data, we don't look at the data. Um, so what we did, we got independently certified through SOC 2 type one compliance and HIPAA compliance. So this is a stringent security test that we passed every single one of the measures um, for governance and security for, uh, for customers' um, information. So you can rest assured that all the information that's stored in the cloud is your information. If you choose to uh, unsubscribe to our, our services, um, you would have up to two weeks to um, download your data and then we delete it. Okay, unless you purposely or unless you specifically just want to delay that, delay that, uh, delay that deletion. Okay, so very, very important uh, criteria here, SOC 2 type 1 compliance and HIPAA compliance with regards to our Savvy. So Savvy, just a little exp uh, explanation about it. Again, this is our software component. Um, four key modules with Savvy that we've come up with that our customers said were very, very valuable valuable to them. So we have four basic pillars. We have health and safety, product verification, cleaning quality, and surface assessment. So health and safety is just that. You know, you'll have these, you'll have certain things like indoor air quality assessments, fire assessments, but in a cleaning assessment, you may also have a health and safety. Certain questions like, do our SDS is up to date? An important question that when we walk into long-term care facilities, hospitals, and schools, we ask that question and they say, well, of course, of course they are. Um, you know, some people may not know where they are. Um, some people may not even know the answer. So one of the, one of the questions with regards to health and safety are there. Um, another question uh, could be, are your, is, your, is your disinfectant expired? Um, product verification, what products are we using and how are we using it? Is your disinfectant uh, coronavirus certified, or is it um, in Canada? Is an is it a DIN certified uh, disinfectant, or in the United States, is it an EPA certified disinfectant? Very important. Cleaning quality. Cleaning qualities are certain questions like the overall clean visual cleanliness of your building. So you would walk in, is the foyer clean? Yes or no, or pass or fail. So with regards to savvy, you will get pass or fails. Um, if you so choose, you also get, uh, you can also opt into a range of one to fives or minimal standards, exceed standards, that type of a thing. For the scoring system, and I'll show you that here in a second, the scoring system was very important that we start it as simple as possible. Some of our customers wanted a dead simple scoring system, a pass or fail system. But because, 
we are able to pivot very quickly. Um, we can we can within a three month period generalize into um, if ISSA has a scoring system or GBAC has a scoring system or CMA, whichever has a scoring system, we can opt into those scoring systems over time. Whatever's important to our customers, we can do. Very customizable is kind of where we're going at. And surface testing, the last pillar, this is, this is the nuts and bolts of the entire program. No matter where you are on your auditing journey, wherever you are in your checklist, the surface testing can be loaded with visual. It, it can be loaded with adenosine triphosphate, um, audits or ATP audits, PCR audits, or our Pathfinder audit. Or if there's a really neat technology that comes out three years from now, we can load that into your, your assessment. So you can look at SAVVY as the building blocks of the, it's the foundation of, of the health and safety of your building that you can build on over time, whatever comes, whatever comes in the future. So very, very neat. So I'll just share one screen here. So this is my, this is how it looks on the iPad, if everybody can see that. So when we log into the iPad with regards to Savvy, you'll see two, you'll see two screens, Pathfinder only image and Savvy and Pathfinder. So right now we're just talking about Savvy. We'll talk about Pathfinder here in a second. So I'll go over here and I'll hit begin. It'll ask you if you want to go to your assessments. Now, remember, these are all digital checklists, and this is what you're seeing is a fake company that we made up just for demonstration purposes. So on the iPad, we wanted to make audits as easy as possible for people. So if you're a school and you want to just start as simple as possible, so a supervisor goes in, they have 10 minutes with the custodian or caretaker at that school, they want to go in and just do a general, a general assessment. They want, to, they want to clean the foyer or they want to assess the foyer the front entrance and one of the bathrooms. They can have a simple pass or fail. They open up their, they open up their iPad on site. They go through a simple pass or fail and so on and so forth. Um, if that custodian wants to come in and do a, uh, an indoor air quality or a monthly checklist, we could essentially come into our assigned assessments and you'll see a tile here. We can go our monthly cleaning audit. So building ABC, ISSA inspector, we hit our action button and then we would come down here and we would hit assess. So this is what a person would do in real time when they walk into the building. We hit proceed. And then this is where you see those four pillars, health and safety, product verification, cleaning quality and surface testing, right? You'll see a current score and an allocated score. The scoring system is, is a weighted average of anything that's important to that customer. So these are the questions in each of these pillars that we interview our customers for. So in health and safety, once we open that up, you'll see simple questions, overall uh, space condition safe and no damage or hazard present. You can actually, you can hit pass, fail or not inspect it. So if I hit pass, I can actually take an image from, I can take an image through the iPad here. So I can click on image. It'll just take a picture, simple picture. So we know what, what gets measured gets done with regards to with regards to auditing. And that's really all this is snapshot. If we wanna take pictures, we wanna trend those pictures over time. We wanna trend the data over time so that we can use it on our, ways, on our way to precision cleaning. And then we can comment here. SDS is acceptable for all in the products used, so on and so forth. Cleaning products used will not react. These are, these are cookie cut um, uh, questions um, that you can choose from Optisol or you can use anyone that you see fit. Okay, so that's health and safety. We can go to product verification. Product verification, all cleaning products you use haven't expired, so on and so forth. All cleaning products are diluted properly. Soap dispensers are operating. If you're doing a hand hygiene audit, we can load that in here as well. Cleaning quality, certain things. Mirror is streak free, no visible stains on dirt or walls. These are things that a school or a long-term care facility or a class A office building may wanna see. Right, and you'll start to see a different scoring standard here, exceed standard, meet standard, so on and so forth. And then we get into our surface testing. So this is where you would load all of your special, um, your special, you know, touch points, critical control points, that type of thing. But this is an imperative. You can choose all four of these or a combination of any of them. If you just want a health and safety audit, you can just choose health and safety when we build this for you, or you can just choose cleaning quality 
or just choose surface testing or a combination of all of them, okay? So we can go in and we can do a visual test. We can do an ATP test, so on and so forth, okay? A little bit about that. And then once we get out of this, so once you save and, uh, and you move out, one of the things that are extremely important with regards to Savvy is this reports and analytics section. So reports and analytics, I can go into that right from the iPad. I can choose ISSA right down here. That's my customer. This could be Harvard University or whoever it is. You can choose your date. So this compiles all the data from everything that I've, or everything that all of your inspectors or auditors have ever done. You can see completed assessments, in progress assessments, top performing, lowest performing, uh, completed surface, uh, surface assessment images, whatever that may be. And then you can start seeing, you know, locations. Right down here, you can see who's passing or failing, really where the resources have to go, how, how Vancouver is doing, how Toronto is doing, so on and so forth. So an interesting software um, to kind of go in. One of the other benefits of this is the online mode. If you're going into a, a spot with bad Wi-Fi, you can click this to the offline mode. Okay, so that's a little hint of the iPad right there. So if there's any questions there, um, always encourage, always encourage questions. There are usually always is. So, so <clears throat> once we go from that, the reporting is extremely, extremely important with regards to this, especially for the cleaning audits, building audits. If you're a BSC doing multiple customers, multiple buildings, you want to be able to trend your data. You also want to be able to, to watch your employee performance. So you can actually cross section the locations with your employees. So from a school standpoint, they have a lot of they have a lot of casual custodians or caretakers that move around their schools. That if you're in school ABC, the same caretaker may move around or the, the a different, you may get a different caretaker every single time. So you may want to track where that caretaker is going to see. I have so many training hours in a year. If there's a specific custodian or caretaker that needs help, that's where we need to, once we audit that caretaker a few times, we may see they need disinfection help. They need cleaning and disinfection help or floor care help, whatever is important to you. So reporting is that extremely, this is the, the secret sauce with, with regards to savvy from the executives of a company right down, to, right down to a custodian or an occupant. You can get all the pictures you need, all the trending data you need over an, ex, uh, an extreme period of time um, into the future, which is, which is extremely robust. And then we get into something called OptiSolve Pathfinder. <clears throat> so Pathfinder was our first product. And this is also GBAC, um, ISSA, GBAC star registered. Um, you know, once we take that software component, that digital checklist for our, for our customers, and that's what most of our customers want to see. They want to, their auditing journey starts with software, choosing the right software and, and why. Right. So um, once they choose that and they get more in depth into their auditing process, whether they're doing ATP or glow germ cream, and they want to start testing those results. So if you choose savvy, you can start loading all of those things into the surface assessment component of savvy. So in the surface component, there's also something called off the solve pathfinder. What we saw when we were coming up with this company um, a lot of um, a lot of cleaning, um, a lot of, you know, once you start selling internationally or once you start selling, you know, the U.S. and Canada, you have Spanish, French, English, um, Russian, Mandarin, all kinds of all, all different languages. So it's not just English anymore. So if English isn't your first language, how how do we train? How do we how do we go about that? Um, process, you know, trying to train in multiple different languages. But what we've seen is a picture's worth a thousand words. So OptiSolve Pathfinder essentially just brings the invisible visible, or it brings color to contamination on that same iPad screen with a proprietary halo. And you can see, you can see that right behind me. So what it does, it loads, um, Pathfinder uses a proprietary, it calls something called an illuminator spray that binds to organic contaminants on a surface and makes them glow in the eye of a camera, essentially. 
So it's not pathogen specific, but it shows it's an after cleaning test that you can show after the custodian cleans or the caretaker environmental services person cleans, you'll start seeing that heat map. And the heat map is, is, um, is very visceral. So you'll get, it's, if it's completely clear, it's generally clean. If it comes out specked yellow, that means it's a, so we do a layered contamination. Specked yellow would be um, a conditional pass, depending where you are. If it starts to get orange, there's a lot of layers of contamination there. It would traditionally fail there. And then once it gets into red, you know, red means bad. Usually red means bad in the disinfectant world, in our disinfectant world anyway. So we, we made it red. When, when we look at that and when we look at the, when we start auditing in and around the surface or in and around surfaces with those cleaners, we don't even need to say anything. So the, the image on your screen shows uh, a doorknob with a keyhole. The keyhole in and around the cracks and crevices where the keys go, it's, it was red. And the cleaner looked at that. This was after it was, it was disinfectant. They took, a, they took an alcohol wipe and just wiped it. And of course, there's got to be a clean and then a sanitizer or disinfect step. Cleaners, especially in the wake of COVID-19, it was becoming redundant. They would just take a touch point and just wipe it with an alcohol wipe, hydrogen peroxide wipe, or so on and so forth. And that was a problem. So then when we did the audit, the cleaner would look at it. We would explain why. And then you would just watch them the next day because they saw exactly where the contamination was. And you would see them digging into the keyhole that they would never do before. Because bacteria and viruses don't care. They don't care what's, what's been cleaned or wherever. They just wanna, they just wanna affect the host or survive and reproduce. So OptiSolve Pathfinder, making the invisible visible in a very neat, neat way. This is, um, this is a, an extremely innovative surface assessment uh, tool that we're innovating constantly, trying to, trying to constantly improve it. But uh, you know, it's to be used in conjunction with visual assessments or that savvy system. And when we look at, I'll just play a little video for you Optisol on exactly what that is. generates on-site real-time images and data of contamination on hard, non-porous surfaces. For surface <clears throat> imaging, a Pathfinder kit is required. To begin, select which mode of Pathfinder you wish to use. Optisolve has made the Pathfinder process easy to follow for users, with on-screen prompts explaining each step. First, Pathfinder asks you to take a contextual image of the surface Oh, sorry. That was me. Then, position the tablet within 12 inches or 30 centimeters of the selected surface. Take the first set of Pathfinder images. Next, apply the OptiSolve Illuminator Spray. When applying the Illuminator Spray, it should cover the surface area, but not oversaturate it. Allow the spray to completely dry on the surface before taking the second set of images. When your imaging is complete, Pathfinder offers two cropping options, the rectangular selection or the freehand selection. Pathfinder's technology uses OptiSolve savvy software to process the images. Pathfinder allows you to adjust the brightness of the image if desired. These results are generated on site and can be viewed immediately on the tablet screen. Your results are uploaded to an assessment or they can be rejected if not satisfactory. You can choose Pathfinder image only, or you can save your images in an OptiSolve savvy assessment for automated reports. Pathfinder generates intensity mapped images of contamination on surfaces ranging from non-detect, moderate, high to severe with a color scale of yellow, orange, and red. OptiSolve Pathfinder technology makes the invisible visible. By targeting and visualizing risk in the environment, we can save time, money, and lives. That's the power of OptiSolve. So with regards to, you know, Pathfinder, very, very neat technology. And I'll, I'll preface this to say, you know, Savvy and Pathfinder are two distinct products. Savvy is really, if you're starting your auditing journey, um, or you're in the middle of your auditing journey and you're not really sure what, where to go or where to look. Savvy is a fantastic step. You can start out as simple as you want um, with a, a simple checklist, whatever your operating procedures or your SOPs are right now. 
Um, so set, we have a lot of customers that are just, you know, look at Savvy and say, we just need simple. We don't need a complex pathfinder. Um, well, complex in a, in a way, or we don't need complex ATP. We don't need complex Glowdrum cream. We just want to visually assess. And that's where Savvy comes in. You can really, you can, you can just start easy. But for those people who are, you know, going through that auditing journey or may already have software or, you know, use ATP or want to go to the next step and really get down granular to see on that surface what, what's there, what, uh, what's contaminated. That's where Pathfinder really, really shines um, just from the trainability standard. And this is on the road to that precision cleaning. You know, the Pathfinder is one of the latest technologies on precision cleaning to bring that color to contamination. So, and what we love about it is the training, you know, the improved training for no matter who, if you're one day, um, one day old in the cleaning industry or 40 years, um, you know, this, it shows you different things. It shows you different processes, how, how decontaminated the, uh, a surface can be. Um, so when you take a Pathfinder image, um, it's going to give you a surface score. So the surface score is a layered technology and they start looking at the entire area or the computer looks at the entire area, whatever's contaminated, and it will, it will um, give you a score. Now the users go in and you will decide what that score means. So if some, some facilities have very old surfaces and they could be a little notched, a little wore out, <clears throat> so they may accept a 60% as a pass. So when you set these things up, you can set those parameters in it. Some facilities may want 90 to 100% um, pass, which is essentially no contamination. And we can, we can get in there as well. So um, it's really customizable to the user and to the building. You know, if you're in an operating room, you shouldn't accept 60% pass, those types of things. <clears throat> One of the case studies we did was in a larger uh, community college in North America. It was a, a 30 building community college with 30 staff members that are cleaning on a regular basis. Um, they went in, they opt or they, they started off with savvy and then they start and then they tagged into in Pathfinder with regards to that. So just by digitizing their audits, you know, the supervisor was doing, they were doing paper audits, but just by digitizing those audits, making them simplified, um, they were saving a lot of money per year. But then when they put Pathfinder on top of that, they were uncovering things that the, that the custodians were cleaning on a regular basis that nobody were touching. So they were going through and cleaning every single day on a certain surface. And when they did Pathfinder audits, the, it, it had been cleaned. And then when you sit back and you watch the flow of people kind of coming and going, there was, there was nobody in that area. So there was no work, there was no uh, people flow through the area. So then they could take those resources and put them in other spots. So, you know, these are the numbers from, from that case study. Um, they, with, with salary and cleaning supplies and training hours, all of that, they looked at a saving about $168,000 a year, um, you know, by opting into Savvy as well as Pathfinder. Um, starting off with savvy is extremely important just to get used to the, get used to the auditing, um, especially if you're brand new doing it. Um, and, and that's a time saving as well, you know, 30% savings in efficiency and training, you know, they looked at, they were spending over an hour and a half, two hours a month with each of their employees on retraining or watching them do things. And Pathfinder really showed them the proper process procedures to, to properly clean and disinfect those areas and where that time could be, uh, where that time could be spent elsewhere. So with regards to Optisolve, you know, we serve anywhere there's cleaning, any market that cleans essentially is where Optisolve savvy and where Pathfinder really come in. Um, you know, airlines, cruise ships have their, the, have their own set of issues, gastrointestinal and things like that. It were in the past they used to um, mass transit. You know, a lot of the public now in the wake of COVID-19 are pressuring, uh, are, are increasing the pressure on corporations and, and businesses or B2B folks to really publish their cleaning, their cleaning standards, post-secondary education, K-12, to those types of places, long-term care facilities. How are we cleaning and how are we proving our clean? And that's where the trending software and savvy really comes in. So no matter where you're starting, 
you know, there's a place for everybody from just paper audits with three questions, all the way up to those complex procedures with multiple buildings across multiple countries. Um, we have the we have the answer for everything there. Okay. So any questions with regards to that, Mr. Jeff? Mark, you did pretty good. Thank you for that. Yeah, good presentation. No problem. No problem. Yeah. So uh, we want to leave this slide up for a few minutes to burn that booth number in everyone's minds or write it down. Forty-eight sixteen. So, <laughs> what is it again? Forty-eight sixteen. Yeah, 4816 at ISSA show. I'll be there. Hopefully some of those on the webinar or those that will watch the recording after will be there. Uh, booth 4816. Very good. So, Mark, you ready for some tough questions? Well, don't make them too tough. But yeah, you know, with with booth 4816, I'll uh, myself, Sanjaya and a gentleman named Kosh will be there. So if anybody wants to see the ins and outs of Savvy or the ins and outs of Pathfinder, both technologies will be there and we'll be happy, thrilled to take you through them. Booth number 4816. There you go. All right. Well, let's get into it, Mark. Um, we have a question about, does Pathfinder work on iOS? Yes. Does it work on iOS only for Pathfinder? iOS only right now. So it's a, it's a web, it can be a web-based system. So any, if, if it's anything other than an iOS <clears throat> system or an Apple-based system, you would use it on a browser. So if you're on the if you're on a phone, um, you can use Chrome or Safari or whatever you see fit. Um, it is op savvy is optimized for an iPad, and we did that for a reason. We wanted a bigger screen, but we also wanted it for optics within a within an area. Because especially if a if an inspector is going in and utilizing this, sometimes if they're on the phone, especially if they're in a school, a teacher would look at the supervisor thinking they're on the phone there all the time. But if you hold up an iPad that says OptiSolve right across it or, um, or District School Board B, whatever it's going to be, they know it's an auditing tool. And that's why we, so right now it's on an iOS iPad app through Savvy. Okay. Or on the web. One of our attendees wants to know about supporting both Savvy and Pathfinder in Singapore. Now, I don't know if you have a private jet, but why do you say to that? <laughs> Singapore would be beautiful, but so the the savvy can be sold. Savvy is a worldwide; it's a software base, and that's fine. Right now, Pathfinder is only north of, or only in the United States and Canada because of the proprietary spray, the Illuminator spray. Okay. Okay, because it's it's perishable. It has to be stored in a fridge, um, so shipping is a concern. Very good. Here's another one. Does Savvy document how long it takes an employee to complete a task? That's a good question. It, it does. It does. So it's, it's up to the inspector. So it's, it's cleaning. It's, it's a cleaning auditing tool after the clean. So we go in and we show, so we can show how long it takes the inspector to do the audit or how long the Pathfinder images um, take to upload or you know, how, how, they take, uh, how they take to conduct. For an employee to utilize how long are they cleaning and disinfecting a toilet for, we wouldn't put that in there because we're not there watching them while they're doing it. Remember, this is after the fact. So we wouldn't have any indication of, of, of seeing that. Okay. We just care about the contamination left on the surface, however sure. they do that. Very good. And we have questions coming in. Um, here's, do you want to talk about pricing questions? Uh, someone's asking, what's the price for both? Yeah, so it, it all depends on the tier. It all depends on the amount of licenses you want or the amount of inspectors. So Savvy is a standalone product. So Savvy, Savvy starts at $449 per month. It's a subscription. It's a SaaS-based model. So you, you would subscribe to Savvy. And that's up to five users in five locations. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it goes up from there. Obviously, if you have 150 locations, there's a lot of setup because the most important, one of the most important things here is we interview our customers and we customize their data into our software. We don't just give them our software. So there's a setup fee with regards to that. So the bigger it is, that, that price starts at 449 and it goes up. With regards to Pathfinder, it'll start out at uh, just under $1,000 for 750 images per quarter per quarter. So okay. um, it's priced competitively to all surface assessment items that, okay. uh, that are out there in the market. 
Uh, the question about Singapore, there, there might be some follow up there. Um, that conversation wants to continue. We can Absolutely. see that in the Q and A. So, the 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 folks in Singapore, there'll definitely be more on that coming your way. Perfect. Uh, um, all right, Mark. So, can this platform be used to onboarding employees, documentation forms, and training compliance? Absolutely. Okay. Any any easy. different checklists you see can be loaded into the SAT. <clears throat> So if it's, you know, essentially like a checking your box, yes or no, or pass or fail or anything like that, we can load those in. We try to make everybody's life easier by going paperless and digitizing those SOPs. All right. Uh, here's a long one, Mark. Does Optisolve okay. help customer build or customize their cleaning quality lists? This person works in higher ed. So in building residence halls, academic and admin building, checklist are there basic templates to build on or do we start bare bones there's the question ah fantastic question you you can choose so we have templates as from the education sector from a healthcare sector from a bsc from a class a building so on and so forth so you can you can pick and choose those savvies that are already pre-built or already pre-questioned i should say but what we would do is you know, th that higher education, you can, you can start there, but we would work with that customer very, very closely to go in to see what is important to him within those questions or her to say what's important to them. And then we tailor it directly to that customer because we know there's no one cookie cut that serves every single customer. So we really spend the time, you know, not hand holding, but being there with that customer. Okay. Um, who is responsible for marking pass failed, not inspected after performing the cleaning task? Yeah, so those are the inspectors. So the inspectors could be supervisors, environmental staffs. Um, it it would, typically wouldn't be environmental services or cleaners, caretakers, those types of those types of folks because that's the people we're inspecting. Um, we it would be more of the inspectors. So whoever you assign um, as a master administrator of the system, whoever you assign to uh, mark those pass and fails. Okay, makes sense. Here's one about, it includes ATP results. What's the difference between Pathfinder and ATP results? Uh, great question. So they're different. They're quite a bit different. So ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So what that looks at is contaminants left on a surface and it'll give you something called an RLU, which is a relative light unit. Um, <laughs> it'll give you a range of a number with regards to ATP. What ours does is it'll give you a layered technology to see what organic contaminants are still left on the surface. So they can, they can work closely together. One just gives you a number, but it doesn't show you exactly where that contamination is. So ATP, if I'm showing you the, uh, an iPad mini screen, you would take the ATP monitor, you would go one way in a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter squared area, and then you would flip it the other way, so you may pick up contamination in the top right quadrant and it will fail the whole thing. It may give you a big number. What OptiSolve does is takes that a step further and says, okay, we can use the, um, we will use the illuminator spray and we'll show you exactly where the contamination is on that 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter squared area. Okay. So Mark, some of these uh, questions might be from, from people who came in a little bit late. You might've covered some of this, but no worries. Yeah, just, just a little heads up on that. So how long does it take from tripod setup to results of assessment? So tripod setup, obviously, you know, so the Pathfinder tool needs to be on the tripod. It needs to be, it needs to be held still right now. We are working on a mobile application there or a more mobile application. Mm -hmm. But, you know, setting up the tripod, you know, could be a minute, you know, and, th and then you're carrying around the tripod when you're when you're completing a picture, you're looking anywhere from a minute and a half up to three minutes. Um, a power, what we call a power user, will get those done within a minute and a half, minute 45 seconds. And it's a timed approach, so the iPad counts down. The biggest wait is waiting for the illuminator spray to dry. It has to be dry. And the iPad prompts you every step of the way. Hmm. It's very easy to use. Yeah, I was gonna say that sounds uh, like the uh, handheld, handheld uh, system from start to finish. It's it's pretty it's pretty easy to use, yeah. Okay. Even I can do it. <clears throat> well, I hope so, Mark. I hope so. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, so it, here's an here's one. Is there a customer portal? 
Yes. So a customer will get a, a ID and a password to the portal through our internal site. So that's where they would log in because it's a cloud-based system. They would get the ID and a password to their own unique account that they can go in on the on a web browser anywhere they see fit, and then they would log in. Um, if they download the Savvy app on the iOS mm -hmm. device, um, they would use that exact same um, ID and password. And then their inspectors would have IDs and passwords with regards okay. to that. Sounds user-friendly. Um, here's, here's a question about contaminants. Which contaminants does Pathfinder identify? And are there ones it doesn't? For those, what are the plans to detect them? Very, very interesting question. So yeah. <laughs> the sole goal is to get pathogen specific here. So we're not there yet. Um, so what, what it shows, what the illuminator spray shows is organic contamination on a surface. So it'll show you DNA, um, anything with a, a DNA component or something like that on that surface and it'll, it'll make it glow. RNA, it's still, it's still trying. Um, environmental cultures are still the best, obviously, but those take, those are very expensive to do and they take a lot of time, but we've correlated our technology with those technologies um, very, very well. So it's just going to show you organic contamination, you know, whether it's, you know, mole, fungi, um, certain bacteria. it'll show you some RNAs, but we're, we don't decipher which ones. Mm -hmm. it, we're not there yet to say specifically it's COVID-19 or specifically it's C. difficile or specifically it's MRSA. We're not there yet, but that's the goal. That'd be, that'd be nice to get to. Okay. Um, is specific training provided to ensure that the individual is properly trained to use this device? Absolutely. We, we are there almost every single step of the way. Obviously, we'll, from pre-interview process to set up, to then giving it back to the customer and then using it in front of us. Um, if they mm -hmm. have any questions, we have a full customer care team with regards to OptiSolve, a full technology care team with regards to OptiSolve that we will be with those customers because we want to start this relationship. If we don't know the customer, we want to, we want to know what's important to them. What, what are their cleaning challenges? You know, is it floors? Is it surfaces? Where are they? And maybe we can give little hints of where to go and what to do. So we don't treat this as just, you know, here's our technology have at her. Um, we really want to work through with our customers to really know the customer and, and, and really help them with their journey onto precision cleaning. Okay. Here's a question that I don't know the answer to, because uh, I don't know what this is, but is Pathfinder technology CFIA certified? I don't know what that is. Uh, so CFIA, <laughs> that's a Canadian. So that's a oh. C, uh, so the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. So it, up here in Canada, um, like the States, you, you, have, you have your own uh, food inspection down there. So CFIA um, want to know if this is approved to be on a food contact surface. So a food cutting surface or a chicken processing plant, mm -hmm. whatever it's going to be. Right now, because of the illuminator spray, it's not CFIA approved yet. So what we would be, would be what we determine a zone four for CFIA. We don't want it on the cutting floor or anything like that. Just because of the spray that we use. Makes sense. We have a couple minutes left, Mark. I think there's a, two more questions here. Sure. You might have covered this one. How does the system verify a task is completed? You mentioned dry, it has to dry. So the system, so if we're in savvy and you're looking at a specific task, um, so it's just, you know, are the mirrors clean or dirty in the cleaning quality section? It could be a pass fail. So once you hit pass and then you save and continue, it'll take you to the next screen. So that automatically saves. And then when you're done with your savvy, you would mark it as complete. Everything uploads into the cloud and gives you a pass fail. So if you see on the screen how the savvy is moving, you'll see a screen pop up with the checkered um, with the checkers right here. You'll see the pass fail scores like green, orange, red, whatever. If you don't check it off properly, it won't let you go to the next section. You have to save and continue, and then it'll remind you which ones that you need to go with. Now, you do have the choice to not inspect something. For some odd reason, if you're rushing through it and you don't need, if you don't want to inspect the bedside table in a hospital, you can choose not inspect it and, it, and you just don't inspect that that day. So we really tailor it to the time constraints of the inspector as well. What's important to them on that very day? It, it has to be easy for them to use it. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
We're almost out of time, Mark. Um, how about one more question? Sure. Unless we get any last minute ones. Uh, this question is about what are the cost savings on labor? And I believe you did touch on some of that. Yeah. But anything to end with that? Yeah. So, you know, we can, it ranges. So we've had a few case studies um, where some of our customers have said 20, up, up to 25 to 30% on labor. <clears throat> now that's over time. It's not all at once because there is a setup process with regards to this. So you may see a little bit of an influx or a little bit of an increase in labor just because we're around the cleaners, we're training the cleaners. But over time, over a year, two year period, you can look towards, you know, sometimes it's a 25 to 30 percent because we're re-engaging the cleaners, we're retraining the cleaners. And you'll start to see absentee levels drop because of indoor air quality assessments. You'll start to see cleaner, safer surfaces because we're validating those surfaces, right? We're right. validating the contamination removal. So it's important. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mark, do you know what we did? We left the slide up the entire time. I know. I... You know what people should know? Booth 4816. <laughs> there it is. Mark, uh, thank you so much for this today. Any final words for those who are still with us? No, thank. I, I just want to thank everybody from taking the time all over the world. Um, you know, we're blessed that thank you very much for uh, for taking the time there. Um, please see us in the ISSA show. If you're not going to the ISSA show, please reach out to us um, with our customer care team. If you want a one on one chat, um, please reach out to me or Paige or Sanjay or Prakash. Um, we'll supply that uh, that data or that those contact information and. Uh, you know what, we, we'd love to help people on their auditing journey, no matter where they are, even if they're just starting simple, simple, simple. There's a, there's a place for everybody. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Mark. And I'll see you at the show. Okay. Thanks, Jeff.